Hey friends, we are back with a new video. Today I'm gonna teach you how to represent square root 4.5 and numbers like that on the number line. So let's begin. Okay, so to start with, you'll draw a number line as shown and mark two points on it, A and B. The distance between them should be 4.5 units. And then you'll extend the line from B one unit more and mark a point C. We have taken one unit equals to one inch over here. Okay, so now we'll take our compass and the radius should be more than three or three. We'll take three or more because the thing is that A to C the distance is 5.5 and we need it more than half because we need to bisect A and C. So by to bisect A and C, you'll keep we'll take the C as center and we'll create an arc. Then we'll take A as the center and we'll cut the previously made arc. This point would be perpendicular to line AC. Now we'll do the same on the other side. We'll take A as the center and do it, then we'll take C as the center. If it doesn't cu cut guys, then you need to extend it a little bit. But make sure that the radius is same. Okay, so now we got two different points and we'll join them with dotted line to get a perfect bisector of line AC. The point where the dotted line intersects with line AC would be our point O. Now with the help of our now with the help of our compass and radius equal to OC, we'll construct an arc with O as the center that cuts through the line on two points A and C. Now with the help of a protector and B as the center, we'll draw a point perpendicular to line AC. We'll join the point with point B to get a perpendicular line. The point where the line intersects with the arc, the previously created arc would be point D. Now the length of BD would be equal to under root 4.5 so we got under root 4.5 but now we need to represent it on the number line so for that you take a compass and with radius equal to BD that means square root 4.5 with B as the center will create an arc which cuts through the line AC at a certain point We'll name this point as point E. Our zero will be B over here in this case. And the distance between B to E would be square root 4.5. That's it for the video guys. I hope you like and enjoy the video. Bye bye.